good morning gents it's been a while since I've taken a video I know I apologize but it's for good reason well the lovely takens are here they're taken to 50 R line 2022 but before I get into the specs I'd like to clarify that there are two versions of this beautiful adventure bike well off-road bike it's 50 50 uh, there's the there's the 250X and then there's the 250 version, normal version. This is the 250 normal version. Now, you'll notice that most of the pictures we've been advertising have come with boxes, side boxes, a top box, and a windshield with handguards. But this one comes completely without. It doesn't even have the rack on it. This comes at a price of 287,000 as it is right now before even the prices go up it's 287,000. Then the 250X version has the three boxes with the rear box. Uh, going for 297k so let's just go a bit through the specs that it has it has a three millimeter disc brake front disc brake a single cylinder though this is a single disc brake it has the the thick inverted shocks you'd find these shocks on the benelli this taken is oil cold you may find some takens locally being sold that are air cold uh, I have to warn you guys that those are the generic versions of the of the Tekens and those engines come as Zongshen. The original Taken comes with the Lonsin RE engine. The Lonsin RE engine, how you how you can know that is uh, if you look at the engine here, it should be written Taken. Uh, if it's written any other name like I don't know what um, funny names they usually say like um, let's say uh, Dakar or uh, I don't know. Uh, Forza, like for example, Forza is for the Bolivian market. I mean, even its seat height is quite short. If you want to get the original Taken, just stick to Taken, as in Taken who are in it, Wangatu Taken. Uh, it doesn't have any other name to it. Yeah. So the generic versions avoid them because they don't come with the Lonsin engine. The Lonsin engine is an engine that has been manufactured by Lonsin factories, which is a factory that manufactures the BMW engines, especially for the GS 750 and the, some of the adventure bikes. It's plastic is made of uh, hard carbon. It's quite tough. Uh, I don't like the the way the wiring is exposed a bit, but um, it's it's put into the into like a small hinge over here to protect it from the from the rubber. If you purchase this bike, make sure that you secure these wires into these holes because there's some clients who have uh, purchased the takens and. Um, this wire wasn't inside, so some of them there are there are clutch cables and the throttle cables in kulika kidogo. So just be careful for that. I like how every bolt and screw is branded taken. If you notice over here, it's branded taken. If you notice over here, it's branded taken. These are some of the things that would uh, would assure you of the branding of this bike, whether it's original. Of course, also the logbook. Logbook has to be written taken. If it's written any other thing, then uh, I'm afraid you bought something else entirely different. It has adventure bikes. This it has adventure tires. These tires are 50% off-road and 50% on-road, which means you can do both, but they perform really well off-road. We have uh, our brand ambassador called Morris in Joy. Uh, I'll share a video of him in a bit. Um, he's doing a, like a proper testing and he's going to be posting reviews up on Facebook uh, online and I'm going to be sharing them on, uh, on, on these bikes. The Tekken 250 is from the factory called Fugo. Fugo has been there for a while, for about, let's say, about 30 years in production. And with each model, they've been improving their models. I would have to say, I think this is the most affordable most beautiful and most uh, good performing uh, off-road ADV bike in the market right now. It's 250cc and uh, without the boxes it's at 287, with the boxes it's 297. I mean um, we can mention a lot of units, a lot of bikes that are much more expensive than this in the local market and have much less than what this is offering. It comes with a two-year warranty. Uh, on the engine. Um, of course uh, the warranty doesn't cover the whole bike because this is an off-road bike. Uh, mostly off-road and adventure bikes that you go off the road mostly are usually warranted only on the engine. Nevertheless, uh, spare parts are fully available. We are Nairobi Power Bikes is the sole distributor of Taken in Kenya. So we get uh, spare parts deliveries every two weeks. Uh, uh, in terms of spare parts you're quite, uh, you're, you're very assured. Um, so these bikes came in quite uh, a lot. Eh? Uh, they've been here for about I think two weeks in the local market. I can say 
quite a bit have sold i mean we're talking about 30 percent of the stock is almost is like completely sold out already with some that have already even been paid for and booked that haven't even been picked up so it comes in two colors this is the fluorescent yellow uh it's sort of reflective yellow like a reflector almost green but still yellow some would say green some would say yellow but i'd say it's yellow um there's also the orange version the orange version i'm going to be taking a video of it soon uh but it comes with a fox in the silver color it comes with a fox in the silver color this one comes with fox in the green in the in the in the golden color so um the radiator coolant let's talk about the radiator coolant this radiator is oil is uh, the engine is oil cooled eh? it uses this radiator to cool the system it's sort of a reverse back system that um, uses the same engine oil to cool the entire engine it's quite impressive um, as opposed to air cooled some people ask why what is the difference between air cooled and oil cooled well oil cooled keeps the engine cooler for a long longer time longer period so you guys can travel much longer distances even up to eight hours at Makatuma Halile just the park until when you you get tired uh, is when you'd probably stop riding but um, other than that the bike wouldn't get tired as opposed to air cold where you'd have to give brakes four to five hours because of engine overheating that's why I said avoid takens that are not oil cold those are one of the, like the red flags to know if a taken is a taken anyway um well taken did have uh, air cooled engines but that was a long time ago let's say about their models that are 2014 2015 there but since then they have really upgraded um, they have a nice pz30 carburetor this pz30 carburetor is i'd say is the closest carburetor to efi i mean it's one click start and uh, it's smooth i love its smoothness um, this engine is quite powerful eh? the bike itself as a whole weighs 140 kgs uh, well, the engine uh, torque output is at uh, 17 newton meters. Eh? So you can imagine, I mean, this is wheelie type torque because the weight to torque ratio is quite uh, big. Um, I've, I've heard of a couple of clients saying they mistakenly did wheelies on this thing. I mean, uh, it's good if you want to get out of those hard, muddy roads and those uh, going to climb up those uh, steepy hills then it's quite uh, the perfect some people ask why we chose spoke rims spoke rims are pretty easy to maintain as opposed to alloy if alloy break you know you'd have to replace the whole rim where this is modifiable in case you're stuck in the bush and uh, you need uh, your, your spoke wheels gets bent or your rim gets bent you just go to a border guy and your has it for you and he fixes it for you so I love how uh, the crash guards are, are well put. Eh? This is really strong. This protects your plastics from getting damaged. Um, it has a beautiful light here, like a nice LED light over here. Let's check out the headlight. It has beautiful lights on the top. The headlight, I'd say, is not too strong, but then again, you know, this is an off-road bike. There's a lot of stuff you can you can modify. I'd say maybe you put like some nice spotlights here if you're gonna be going to those dark roads while you're traveling. So, yeah. So who's this bike for? This bike is for those who are looking for a bike that is not a sport bike that has a lot of plastics that could get damaged and everything. Uh, at the same time, you want a commuter bike. At the same time, you want a bike to travel. At the same time, you want a bike for the adventure. I mean, it's all in one. At the same time, it looks really, really good. It has a good presence on the road. A lot of our clients say that they get a lot of attention. Um, a lot of clients who have come to purchase bikes are because of because of seeing them on the road and seeing them passing. I'd say it looks quite bigger than pictures and the videos that we usually show. So I'd advise you to come visit us at Nairobi Power Bikes. Uh, it looks different uh, in person than it does in the videos and it looks quite short but it's quite actually tall the seat height is 820 millimeters which is pretty standard for most of the the bikes that are that are that are sold around but the good thing is it has an adjustable suspension so if you're a short guy maybe 54 53 or a short lady uh, you tell us pre-hand we have a lot of units that haven't been assembled yet so we assemble it and we adjust the shock the shocks according to your height just perfect according to your height uh, we've done that for a couple of clients which is pretty impressive um, not all the bikes usually offer that it has dual it has dual uh, exhaust at the rear which is pretty nice it's pretty hard to modify this and put aftermarket exhausts but it's doable you can put for you dual akrapovic exhaust pipes um, it has nice holders for your passenger right over here and right over here 
it has a tank pad already pre-installed its tank capacity is 14 liters now the consumption of this bike is pretty impressive some of the clients have said they've even reached 40 kilometers per liter which um it, it doesn't say that on the book but some of the clients have said that uh on the books it says that this is 38 kilometers on the liter which is pretty economical which means a full tank will get you way over 600 kilometers 500 maybe 500 600 kilometers which is pretty good it's good it's it's economical it's affordable it's a bike that wouldn't need much parts not unless it's you got into an accident or it's service parts you wouldn't need much parts because ikitu inanguka inangukia two crash guards na inangukia two the the hand guards i mean uh, nothing would break here this is pure metal this this bike is made of pure metal uh, you'd find most of the sport bikes here it's usually alloy but this is pure metal huh? uh it's pretty secure this bike is pretty secure it's neat um i'd recommend it if you're a beginner come visit us 90% uh, of the customers who bought these bikes are all beginners um, come visit us we will give you a good deal at Nairobi Power Bikes Langata Carnival um, it's a pretty decent bike uh, is there anything I haven't talked about no um, yeah so yeah by the way this engine guard plate this bike has an engine guard plate this engine guard plate is when you go to those bumpy roads uko ushago and a stone like you know those stones and pebbles that hit your engine this protects your engine from damage it's pretty pretty cool because now it has like a secondary protection this is like the engine guard plate then it also has the frame of the bike protecting the engine which is pretty nice so yeah visit us these bikes are in plenty although i'd say they are limited in stock uh we sold like 30 units in the last week so yeah they're pretty they're, they're, they're going really fast visitors will give you a good deal uh, the bike comes with a toolkit and a manual and your two and your two-year warranty depending on when you whether you get the X version or the standard version uh, depends on you uh, if you're the sort who likes to carry baggage and maybe you go to work or you carry stuff it'll be good if you get the boxes they are 45 liter each uh, if you're the one you're the sort who doesn't like carrying boxes and all that this one's pretty cool too um yeah i'd say this is the ultimate commuter stroke adventure stroke off-road stroke naked bike uh, in the market right now it's pretty cool so visit us please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel i'll be post i'll try and post more videos poleni sana i've been uh, out for a while haven't been in the country but it's for good reason a bit of logistical problems globally but it happens but it's happening everywhere and uh, we'll try to improve on our supply and both and also our videos and reviews if you have any questions please leave them in the, the comments like and subscribe to our channel and uh, yeah thank you